everyone, welcome to my channel. This is ITRX at your service. This channel is all about a TESTA program, a tutorial for a qualification in CSS NC2 or a Computer System Services National Certificate 2. Tara! G! tutorial, I will share to you how to create a bootable flash drive using Rufus application. Tara! G! We are done with disassembled and assembled of computer. So ngayon, we will create a bootable flash drive using Rufus application. These are the things needed for creating bootable flash drive. Number one, Rufus application. A bootable application. Next, the flash drive. At least 32 GB a version of 3.0. Next, the OS. For Windows Server 2012 R2, it is an ISO image. Last, the computer system unit or the computer itself. To start with creating bootable flash drive, we need to open Rufus 3.20 version. Open, right-click, then run as administrator. Click yes. So dito, na-locate ang flash drive. Ibig sabihin, uh, na-detect na ang flash drive na na-attach mo. So ngayon, we will select, uh, click this button select, to locate the I ISO image or yung uh, um, Windows Server 2012 R2. So, to give you an example, so ito ang mga ISO image. We have uh, Windows Server 2008 standard. We have Windows 10 Pro. If kailangan yung mag-format uh, ng Windows 10. We have also Windows 7, the older version. We have also Windows 10 Pro with Office, Office 2010 na siya. So, kumbaga, meron na siyang Microsoft Office 2019. And we have also Windows Server 2012 R2. So, ito ang kailangan natin sa uh, creating bootable flash drive para sa CSS NC2, which is required by the assessor. Check natin. So, we will select this one, then locate the ISO. So, nandito siya sa desktop, then you just have to click the Server 2012 R2. So, meron siyang size capacity na 4.54 GB. Ibig sabihin, malaki talaga siyang file. Click this one, then open. So, nag-loading siya. So, you don't need to change anything there. Uh, you can change the volume label. Pwede siya. So, pwede natin isulat Windows Server 2012 R2. Parang name lang siya ng uh, bootable flash drive. And if you are ready, then you can start. So, warning all data on device, drive key, 32 gb will be destroyed or erased. So, dapat talaga, uh, empty talaga ang flash drive para anything na file na kailangan mo, dapat may backup ka na dun. So you just have to click OK. And... Yun, so start na siya. Let's wait if the uh, Rufus will be completed. That's the, uh, that's the time na matatapos na ang Rufus application. A few moments later. So, ayan. Malapit na tayong matapos sa uh, bootable. Hanggang mag 100% na siya. Finali finalizing na to. Okay, so ito na. Tapos na ang pag uh, bootable niya. Then ready. And uh, by the way, take note, wag niyong start again because babalik na naman niya sa umpisa. So you have to close it and then you have to eject the file or the flash drive. And eject. If kailangan niyo eject. So ngayon, we will check if ang flash drive ba na iyong uh, nabutable is detected ba siya or talagang nakabutable siya. So let's find out if yung ginawa nating creatable flash drive is gagana ba siya if uh, 
ma-check natin sa BIOS setting niya. So, let's start. Restart this one. Then, you have to press F2 Delete para makapasok tayo sa BIOS setting. So, ito ang BIOS setting niya. So, we just have to find the flash drive or the bootable flash drive na ating na-create before. Okay. Then, you have to choose boot. Then, find the flash drive which is, uh, ang pangalan ng flash drive natin is Kingston. So, ito. So, nandito. Uh, there are four uh, real uh, ob boot override. So, we will just select this UEFI Kingston Data Traveler 3.0. Ito dapat ang ating iselect at hindi itong Kingston lang. Kasi meron itong explanation na UEFI dapat siya pag nag Rufus Bootable tayo. We'll select this one. Nag-loading na siya. So, ayun. Nakita na ang Bootable Flash Drive. Let's, have, let's double check again. So, ito na. Windows Server 2012 R2. So, we just have to click next. Then, install now. Okay. So, gumana siya. So, ito ang yung tapakita sa assessor if uh, he wants to check the bootable flash drive. So, pag gumana na, then you have just to uh, close and then get the flash drive then proceed to another uh, instruction given by the assessor. And that's it for today's video tutorial. If you have any question, just comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Again, this is ITREX at your service.